This is Jacob Eason here, and I'm going to show you how to use an app called Show Me Interactive Whiteboard. It is a free download from the App Store for the iPad, and it's a great app that you can use for many different situations. So once we click on the Show Me app, we are ready to get started. When you click on the app, you're going to get something that looks like this, and it's a blank screen. For right now, we're going to go up and we're going to hit Close. And then we're going to go to the main menu. So when you click close, this is what you get. There are a few different options. You can sign up or log in. And what this is going to do is it's just going to let you create an account to where you can use your show me's to show off to other people. Uh, over here is your my show me's. So once you make some, then you will be able to see yours. And over here in the explore section, you can see other people's show me's and we're going to look at that actually as after we create our own. So we're going to go to create and you're going to get back to this screen and what this app does is you can record yourself writing things onto the iPad and you can record your voice as well as you write it. So I've written something up here. I've written 37 times 26 and you can see that we can change colors to highlight different things. For me, I highlighted the two in blue because that's going to be our tens place and the red for the ones place. And I am showing a strategy you could do to uh, solve a double digit times double digit multiplication equation. So after I change my colors by clicking up here and here, uh, I am going to click the over arrow to get a new page because I'm kind of out of room here for what I want to do next. And I'm here at the new screen. I have split it into two and I have written down 37 times 20 and 37 times 6. And you could be recording your voice to explain why you did this and why it's necessary this happens. Uh, if you need to erase anything, you can erase up here. You can also add pictures up here with this right here. You can undo with this button right here, and you could erase everything on your screen with this button right here. All you have to do is to click record, and it will start recording everything you do. You can write equations before you record as well, which is helpful so that you don't have to think while you write, which is difficult, obviously, for me too. So I'm going to go ahead and click close here. And we're going to go back here in this home screen. I went to the sign up or login button that was right around in this area and you can either click a, no, a new show me or you can log in. I'm going to click note new show me and this is how you'd sign up. You put your name, email address, password. You can also sign up with Facebook or Twitter. Maybe if your class has a Twitter account you can use it that way. Um, so now I'm back to this explore tab and in this explore tab there are some that you can search up here or you can just browse by category. I'm going to go to the math category by clicking here. Then I'm going to see I have lots of different topics. I'm going to click elementary math and I'm going to scroll down to fourth grade math because that is the area that I teach. And if you look through fourth grade math you've got tons and tons of different things. I've even noticed there's a go math lesson up here which is the program for math that we teach at our school. There are lots of different ways that you can do this either by you creating your own or by your students creating them. I've used this program and let my students record how they solve the double digit times double digit multiplication equations. When you do that, they can record their voice explaining what they're doing and they can also show with their, you know, with their writing how they do it. I would recommend having a stylus for this because it would make their writing a little bit more precise and easy to read and they do need a kind of quiet area in which to record in so we can't have the entire class doing it at one time. It might be something that you could have a few kids in the hallway at once working on or they come back during a special area time to record this. This is a great app if you'd like to check it out again and it's on the Apple iTunes store and thank you very much.